so what we have here is this uh, a competitive bag. It's a metal in bag, so this is a dissipative uh, on the exterior. And so if we put a charge on here, sure enough, we have something like uh, uh, minus four, 1,400 uh, volts. We hit decay, ground it through me, the charge is going down, and it takes 2.7 uh, seconds for it to go from a fa minus a thousand volts to minus 100 volts. Uh, the protective pack uh, bag, uh, we have it, we charge it, it's up to over a thousand, decay, touch it, 2.2 seconds. And uh, the area that I'm going to try to resti restrict the contact is here at the, uh, at the zipper area. So let's just try that with a protective pack uh, bag with the dissipative uh, zipper. And I'm just making contact there and 1.2 seconds. I'm told that this is an insulative uh, seam here. And what I'll try to do is just to touch it with the insulative portion. And we'll see if the charge is removed to ground. So it's up there about 1400, 1500 volts. I touch, the stopwatch is going, we're up to two, so that's 2.8 seconds, but I may have touched it, so let's try it again. Here's the uh, competitive bag. I'm going to try to just touch it on the insulative portion and see if the charge is removed to ground. That's 3.5 seconds. When I did the first time, it just went on and on and on. So, so I, I think I touched it here. So here's the uh, insulative portion of the seam of the zipper. So here is the competitive bag. I've made this so I can make better contact with just the insulative portion. And uh, I'll see if I can touch just it. Three point four seconds. Let's try the, uh, this is the competitive bag. I'm going to touch it just on the dissipative portion and say, boom, 0.2 seconds. Here I'm going to touch it. Uh, I'm going to try just to touch it on the uh, insulative lip. And it's going past four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. See, it's insulative, so even though I'm grounded and I'm holding it, if uh, that insulative portion up to 14 seconds, and maybe Maybe I touched it with a, a dissipative portion. So clearly it is not following ESD control uh, correct properties to have a portion of an ESD bag to be insulative. What we have here is the uh, protective pack uh, bag version. Of course it's, um, it's a dissipative portion here. We should expect it when I'm uh, being grounded through me. Here it is, 0.7 seconds. But also I'm going to try to just touch it with the, the zipper portion here at the end. Point 0.9 seconds. So here's the protective pack portion with the dissipative uh, zipper, and it does the ESD control property of when grounded. This is through the wrist strap here, through me and the wrist strap. Any charges on the bags, the charge on the isolated conductive plate will be removed to ground. 0.6 seconds. So in my evaluation of these two bags, the protective pack version has the ESD control property of being dissipative, so it will remove charges to ground from all portions of, of the bag. 
Uh, the currently used bag has this insulative top. Uh, if that is the, the portion that is connected, it does not have the ESD property of removing electrostatic charges to ground. So it violates the ESD Association packaging standard ANSI ESD S541.